Good afternoon, everyone. Curry College Chief for the Forecast, Joe Shackett, taking a look at Invest here, 96L off the NHC site. Uh, I mean, 97L. I thought there was 96L. We'll take a look at both of these. Uh, here's 96L, as you can see. Uh, 97L, as you can see here, and it's threat for developing over the next five days. Or so, and also here is 96L right here. In the uh, Eastern Atlantic, a 50% chance now over the next five days. But the more imminent threat seems to be 97L here. And we're going to take a look right now at some of the forecasts for this. So here is the uh, spaghetti plot for 96L. Uh, this is going to be monitored a little bit later on. But here is 97L, which is right here. It was right here. Hold on, let me just make sure. Yeah, there we are. I was hitting the wrong... I was hitting... Yep, yeah, yeah, there. I think this was my laptop. I'm using the PC, but... You can see here the uh, invest here for 97L. The threat of this getting into the Gulf of Mexico is relatively high. We're going to take a look at some of the GFS ensembles here. And we, got, we really do have to watch this, though. I think Western Central Gulf over the next course, the next six to eight days for obvious reasons. But you can see the track moving west-northwest going through the islands and then obviously fun and games in the Gulf. So here are the uh, GFS ensembles for Sunday afternoon. Here's 96L coming across. But again, here's 97L. So 97L is here. It ends up here. 96L is here. Ends up here. So let's focus our attention on these islands here. So there's Sunday afternoon. Could be a potentially a tropical storm. A weak one or a tropical depression coming into the islands on Sunday, which is about two days away from now. Today's Friday. Here we are uh, next Saturday. And about a week, and then this is where obviously the models start to verge, but you can see some of the pressures here, 993, 92, and a lot of thousands. And then we continue to advance to a next Sunday, which is a week from now, a little bit over a week. You can see members really starting to deepen this here. You can already see the ensemble mean is 998. Uh, we've got members, uh, you can see 997. Uh, I'm going to try to make this a little bit larger. Uh, there we are, 997. You can see, obviously, the threat. And then going past that, you can see here's the uh, the, G the GFS here. And it's uh, tr the Invest GFDL here. Here, it looks uh, you can see, what was this, 29th of Friday? Yeah, now here's the thing is that, again, here's 96L. And then 97L, which is here, ends up here. And then this is a very dangerous situation for anything to be in, given how fact I forgot to add it on here. In the next video, we'll take a look. But the SSTs are very, very warm here in the Gulf of Mexico. So if this can get in here, this could really, really develop very, very quickly. So that is a concern in the next week or so. But the first week of August, I think we have a relatively good shot of seeing the name, the next name storm, which will be Earl on the next list. And then obviously the African wave trade will continue. But this here... This here is a very, very, I wouldn't say a very big threat this time, but this is certainly raising eyes now in the Gulf of Mexico that there could be something in here with over the next course of the next week or so, and that something could develop very, very quickly in here. So definitely something to keep an eye on here. If you're watching this anywhere from basically really the Leeward Islands, the Lesser Antilles, all the way to the Texas coast in this general area, the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, I would stop paying attention very, very closely to the forecast. That's it for now, and thank you for watching.